After learning about Tesla's deal or contract to install 20,000 chargers at hotels in North America, for one hotel chain, the first of many, I would assume, I was curious to know, how fast is Tesla actually building out its supercharger network? Well, turns out it's pretty damn fast, but the speed has recently been accelerating. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Tesla has more than 50,000 supercharger stalls worldwide today. It actually didn't install them very at a very fast rate at all because it took Tesla six years to get from one to 10,000. Right? One to 10,000 took them six years. That's a long period of time, especially when you consider the fact that it took them, well, a year and a half to go from 10,000 to 20,000. So they went from 10,000 in June 2018 to 20,000 in November of 2020. As you can see, the speed completely changed during that period of time. And this is that period of time when people were saying Tesla is overvalued. They're just a car company. Why we value them on anything else? I mean, you know, Toyota has charges everywhere too, don't they? Don't they? No, they don't. Anyhow, between November 2020 and November 2021, Tesla's speed continued to increase. It went and installed 10,000 charges over that 12 month period. And then the next 10,000 took them 12 months. Since November of 2020, Tesla has installed just over 30,000 charges worldwide, but it is apparently now working on an additional 30,000. 10,000 of those are scattered around the world in different locations. And then of course we had the recent deal of the 20,000. That's what we know of. It could in fact be a lot more than that. And to give you an idea on where exactly these are, there is 21,500 individual superchargers that Tesla own and operate in North America or in the United States to be particular, to be precise. That means Tesla have around 2,000 stations and 21,500 stalls. Of course, that gives you an idea on just how big this latest contract is with the hotel chain to install an additional 20,000. That will actually double Tesla's supercharger stalls in the United States alone. However, Tesla in fact has almost as many stations in China. It has 1,815 stations, but a lot less stalls with 11,076 stalls in China. So as you can see, about 32,000 of Tesla's just over 50,000 individual charges are located in the US and China. The rest of them, well, they're scattered around the world, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, Europe, etc. Tesla's current V3 chargers, which are the ones they're building now, or sort of, have up to 250 kilowatt charging speed. But their new V4 chargers, which they've begun building in Europe, and they've just started building them as well in the United States, they have charging speed of 350 kilowatts. However, Tesla also have mega chargers that are capable of a nearly one megawatt fast charging. And those megawatt chargers can charge a semi in around 35 minutes, which is amazing considering the battery pack size in the Tesla semi. That said, no one actually knows the official size, but it's massive, put it that way. All of this means that Tesla has the largest supercharger fast charging network in the world but I think it's actually planning on speeding up its deployment of chargers. It's been undercutting its competitors on new charging locations for a variety of different places, Taco Bell, supermarket chains, hotel chains, just government charging points. It's been undercutting its rivals quotes by around 50% on average in order to just take over the market. One of the key reasons for this, and particularly in the United States, is there is billions and billions of dollars that the Biden administration has put up for funding. Tesla is saying, well, let's take advantage of this situation. Let's basically make billions of dollars in order. Let's basically invest billions to get billions from the US government and then get billions from all the people that will use our charges in the future. And of course, they want to get your data. That's probably a big 
part of the equation. Now, analysts have said they believe that Tesla will likely have a market of around $10 billion per year. Basically, they'll become the next ExxonMobil or the next mega conglomerate, kind of like what we think of here in Australia as BP or Shell service stations in other countries around the world. So what are your thoughts on this? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching.